Don't look under the internet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now we know where we are. Awesome. Yeah. I know that there is one clap before many claps, and I'll do the first clap. So. Okay. Welcome <laughs> to Don't Look Under the Internet. Fuck the cold open, I guess. We're just, hello. Hi, everyone. It's... Well, Spooky dude, okay, season. Can I just say something that's been on my mind all day? Yeah. Isn't it weird that percentages work both ways? Isn't it weird that your butt, like if you, t- like, your butt <laughs> does work both ways too? Actually, now that I think about it, it it does. Uh, but no, like eight percent of twenty five is twenty five percent of eight. Oh, okay. So we're gonna talk about math. That's what we're doing tonight. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever you guys want to talk about. Eight percent. Math-luting. Eight percent of twenty-five is the same as five, or eight percent of twenty-five is twi- twenty-five percent of eight. I don't think that's accurate. Go ahead, pull a calculator out. Eight percent of twenty-five. Well, twenty-five percent of eight is two. Uh huh. And eight percent of twenty-five is twenty-five times point oh eight. It's two. He was uh, right. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Any number. Good, good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this has been our math lesson for. Or you know. Um, welcome to. That was interesting. Welcome to Don't Look Under the Internet, the show where Jason will uh, sometimes be right with math. <laughs> that is Jason, and I'm next to him today. Hello. Yeah, that's, that's different. That's Doug. Hi there. That's Moot slash Matt. Hi. Yeah, all right, just interrupt me. That's fine. Yeah, no. Yep. Okay. Not even gonna let you finish. And my name is Kirk Cameron. Catch me on my new. Uh, Christian holiday special on Lifetime. Santa. That's it. <laughs> Santa. Santa. <laughs> the the cult classic Christmas movie. Santa. Santa. No, uh, it's not wonderful. Santa. Santa. <laughs> With a question mark. It's, like a slight... <laughs> it's got a question mark and an exclamation point after it. Yeah. Um. So over the v-, v. I would just like to give a good old. Uh, oh, we have some housekeeping. We do. Uh, Clap above uh, your uh, head. Duty. Housekeeping. Um, oh, you're still clapping. That threw me off. Mike's the Sorry. only one that ever claps during this. Yeah, because so you guys don't knows. like to participate. Well, I I vocalize it. I tell the people what you're doing. We have two new patrons today. And not not today, like I'm announcing them today. <laughs> they actually became patrons at different times. Because did you know that time works both ways? It's also just like percentiles. We have curd with an exclamation point. So curd. <laughs> Thanks, curd. Are you of the cheese variety? If so, I will eat you. Um, maybe it's the whey kind. Maybe, but I prefer the curd cheese curd. Kind. Oh yeah. We also have Wolfslore. Um, hello, Wolfslore. I don't know what that name is supposed to be, but it sounds kind of like a wolf coleslaw. I don't know why that's where my brain goes to. <laughs> a what? A wolf coleslaw. A wolf? Like extreme wolf. brand okay, like of coleslaw. Like the thing a dog does? No, like the, the beast. Oh, with an L in there? Yeah, mock me and my speech <laughs> impediment more. <laughs> Real cool of you. Like the Glaucus. Um, also, we got some beers bought for us. $50 worth of beers by a one Hell Zay. Yes. So thank you very much, Zay. You, you Zay, appreciated. You good boy. Off. Zay, this is what you bought for us. Yes, you bought us. You know what? That, that slides right into what are you thinking? What are you drinking? There's a bottle here and it's empty. Oh yeah! Um, oh yeah! Zay Fortunately, it's still us, mostly full because we have a lot yes. of things to do. Zay yes. bought us a nice thing of Telemore De, which is a nice Irish whiskey. Telemore De. Um, and I have one little glass, which is going to be my only one for the night, because I'm being responsible. Because he's a little bitch. I'm gonna let Doug sit this one out because he's got some splaining to do after this, but mm. I will cheers Mike and oh. Matt, if he's willing. To uh, this bottle of Tullamore Dew that was bought for us by uh, by Zay. So everyone say thank you, Zay. Thank He's you, the reason Zay. that we're funny tonight. Funny is a word. Hey, thank you, Zay. I'm Clink. Clink. Buffalo Trace. Oh, oh you yeah. bitch. I, I was looking for that the other day, and we like it's always sold out. You have it's to, always uh, fucking sold out. Wait, no, you have to clink your microphone. Damn it. Spit oh. it out. Spit it out. Spit it back. Oh, I didn't oh, mean he it. Did it. Oh. <laughs> you only got about half. <laughs> All right, guys, when you hear the clink, take the drink. <laughs> Holy <There> shit. It <laughs> Love that. Love that. I think it made it better. 
<laughs> it adds I think a bit I of a sell that to them. It's like wine. Oh my god! It, it adds a bit of like a saltiness to it. If you're in the Discord, let us know. Would you buy a whole handle of <laughs> that we've, wash wine? We've <laughs> drank and then spit back into the bottle. Let like, us know. Like every shot that's in there is a yeah. shot we've taken and spit. Yeah. 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 Like backwash wine. That sounds awful. Doctor B said, "Let's go. Let's go." Zane, um, <laughs> there's someone mulling it over. Zane needs it for science. Okay, well, Zay wants. Oh my god! You know this Discord is full of weird people. This it Discord is. does have this, weird people in it. This house that we're in right now has idiots in the basement. Has idiots in the basement. There's also a bear. There's. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bear earlier. <laughs> And then it's, <laughs> it's the most unedited bear I've ever seen. <laughs> unedited bears in your basement. Do you know we're going over yet? We're beating the you with this stick. We're stick. covering this house has people in it. Slash whoop, whoop. unedited footage of a bear. <laughs> bears, bears, <laughs> bears, 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 bears. I kind of, I, oh, I, I'm going to speak for all of us. I hope I'm right here. But I think we're kind of treating this like the intro episode to... The like Adult Swim ARG universe. Type yeah, thing. yeah, because yeah. we're gonna go over that Alan Man later too. Just we'll touch on yeah, Alan we'll, tutorial. Yeah, there's we'll, the visitor we'll center and all that kind of stuff. Um, but Wham those City, are another day. Um, just City. in general, is basically kind of what we're gonna be covering. Um, uh, 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 Tim and Eric. There's one. Free real estate. Twelve ounce mouse. So no. Look at all right. No, we twelve ounce so mouse Rick and Morty fucking ARG. slaps. By the way, I'm just saying. Does Rick and Morty actually have an ARG? Oh, come on, Matt. You Jason, can't do this to me. Do you remember the day when I used to live in Warrenville at the old house? Uh, we got, like, wasted, and then the next day, all we did was watch 12-Ounce Mouse in the morning. When we were like, we're going to fucking game. We're going to game oh, yeah. all goddamn night. Where it's going to be great. And yes, I do remember that. It's because we fucking uh, metalocalypsed. We metalocalypsed <laughs> and blacked the fuck out. Yeah. But. But yes, we are covering, uh, mainly, this house has people in it. We do have to touch on some other things that exist in the same universe to kind of make some things make sense. So we're going to touch on a few other things as well. Fucking buckle up, guys. This is a this is an intense, insane ride of an episode. There's going to be so much being thrown at you. It's and we're going to miss some things. We're going to miss, gonna a, miss lot. a lot. <laughs> yes, um, we are not professionals. We're not covering all every every single ounce of this. Um, honestly, I didn't like. I, I know a lot of people say this, but wait, is my camera off? Yeah, yeah, you, I don't know what you did. But, How did that happen? But Big seriously, guys, idiot. go experience all this shit for yourselves. Um, follow this, along this with button. us, go to the websites we're talking about, explore them a bit. Like, cause I said, as we all said, we are not touching on every single thing that exists in yeah, this. Topic. We're, we're going to miss probably crucial points. Um, oh, so does the camera turn off when I go to a different tab? It shouldn't. No. Look, look, hi mom. <laughs> Wait, your mom's here? This episode's just called... Okay, this, no. <laughs> this episode's just called Technical Difficulties, I guess. Uh, um, so that being said, uh, I, so we, we this is going to be mainly about this house has people in it. We're going to go over unedited footage of a bear. We're going to dumb it down a little bit. Yep. Um, because otherwise this would be like a fucking five-part episode. Yeah. And we're currently on track to try and make it a two-part. Yeah. Uh, so let's go. Potentially, let's, seriously, let's just fucking dump right into it. Potentially the first part, three-parter. Ooh, <laughs> let's, let's let's see where we're at. Let's, at like three hour let's three. Let's not because we need to have hometown horrors come out this. Uh, we this do. Month. We do. Um. So that being said, let's go straight into unedited footage of a bear. Uh, this is a short film by Adult Swim, uh, Alan Resnick and Ben O'Brien. I'm just going to go over this video verbatim, basically, and kind of try to tie in what I can. And Mike's gone again. Yep, Mike's gone again. Um, Why does he keep doing that? To be <laughs> fair, I watched it. He didn't touch shit. Yeah, he did not, actually. But okay, so unedited footage of a bear. Starts off with footage of a bear. You, you hear a little mumbling background noise. Um, and then it just moves straight in to a Claridrill commercial dude so i'm sorry but the first time i watched this i kept hitting the pause button i'm like why the fuck won't this ad skip i don't care exactly <laughs> it's set up so well where you even have like the youtube like skip ad button on it basically and actually in this one it says more ads 
but I tried um, to it. It, yeah, I didn't read it. I yeah, like, get out of here. So it it definitely gets you. Like if you're not paying attention, and like this would have aired just on Adult Swim at probably four in the morning. Can you imagine the like PTSD or like frustration someone got from watching Adult Swim be like just blazed off your fucking door? No, and it's and like just... this isn't YouTube. What do you mean skip it? What's happening here? You mother- <laughs> just like grabbing, furiously grabbing random remotes off their table. <laughs> <laughs> they just like go over to the computer with their mouse and they're like, this isn't working. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Click it, man. It's so bizarre because like it's just a very like normal like allergy medicine commercial, but like at the same time, it's so not normal. Um, it lists off a ton of terrible side effects and it actually says like severe like side effects. Like it's, it it almost says if it's advertising that it's, that's what it's for. Like you want to get the severe side effects out of the drug. Yep. Um, but their, their motto is take life in your hands. Um, which is not quite (laughs) the way you want to describe that (laughs) by any means necessary. (laughs) No. Um, so like I said, I'm going to kind of go over this just as we see it. Um, and I'll try to tie in points that I can to make a little sense of like the weirdness in it. Guys, this is, this is a weird one. Um, I would implore you to please go and watch. It's the 10 unedited minutes. Fringes. Yeah, it's 10 minutes yeah. long. The, this house is people in is also 11 minutes and some odd seconds long. Like uh, they're two not, hours. They're, <laughs> they're not long on the fucking surface. No, yeah. It's just worth it to go through and pause and read like the little things that are at the bottom of the screen, like the disclaimers. They yeah, are it, they, they're funny. They add some uh some comedic value for fucking sure. <clears throat> for the sake of time, I didn't list all of those out. Like I kinda wish I had, but well y- you watch the video. You fucking figure you it fucking out. You figure, figure it out. out. Also fuck Corbin Kentucky. Let's just hit all just the all the points. In case Get it I all out of the way right already. now. Um so yeah. So we go to this Clary Drill commercial. Um, as a, basically, you're watching a woman being like, "I'm kicking my allergies to the curb, and I don't gotta worry about it." <laughs> I'm taking and my life in my own hands. There's just some fucking annoying kids in the background, like playing at a park, and it's just like very typical drug commercial that America is so well known for. Um, and as soon as it seems like the ad is ending. Uh, you see this woman in a car and you hear the narrator kind of going over the side effects of everything and it just kind of fades out. Like the noise just starts to fade out and you see this woman's demeanor kind of go from like, I'm feeling good because of the drug to now you can almost read the words paranoia I'm having an existential crisis. Yeah. It's so <laughs> fucking like, and the music is really well done in these two. Like they really create that sense of dread which we all love love it um but yeah so the the background narrator fades away and uh she just starts going into this like paranoid state of mind and you just see her driving her car and in the car her back seat where the kids should be is filled with just like prescription drugs and like empty bottles and uh while she's driving you see her kind of just like take a snort of this claire drill like and um it's just so it's so bizarre and so she's driving this car and uh she sees what look like to be just like a bunch of police at this house and there's been some sort of murder because there's just a man laying on the ground covered in a sheet and there's just this like you know there's police holding this guy that's like going All fucking you can see is his shoes his but the man on the ground and the man that's going berserk have the same green colored shoes on. You haven't mentioned a single bear yet. At the Just very in beginning. the beginning. Yeah, there's like five seconds yeah. of it. It's, it's like five seconds of the bear. first five so seconds short. is it's an skippable. unedited clip of a bear. Yeah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's very unedited. False advertisement, I see. Yeah, so no, um, no, the clip of the bear is unedited. The rest of it, (laughs) it's unedited footage of a bear's face. (laughs) Unedited version of a bear asterisk. That's what it is. Yep, a bear asterisk. Yeah, bear asterisk. Clarisol. Um, You could say the rest of the video is side effects. I mean, probably at this point. Um, We're bringing up too many topics. Yeah, there's there's so much. (laughs) There's just so much to all of these, which is why I'm sort of trying to blow through the unedited footage. But either way, so we see this man in cuffs going fucking berserk. There's a bunch of police out. Uh, He's wearing the same shoes as the person on the ground. So right there, just in my mind, I'm assuming that like 
maybe this is a metaphor for suicide to some degree. Um, and we know that this man that's going crazy is has other bodies in the house because they're pulling out more than just one body. They're pulling out bags of bodies. Um, so it's just really bizarre that th th this 10 minutes is the weirdest shit ever. But um, so the woman then notices that there's a bloody like dirty version of her sweater on the ground. She like drives away, she parks and she gets out and she sees the sweater on the ground. And then like immediately she like looks down the road and there's a fucking doppelganger of herself, just like Zach Baggins stance at the end of the road. <laughs> um, and it starts charging her. <laughs> and uh, basically she just gets hunted down by her own doppelganger. So once they catch up to her, uh, is that the bear? <laughs> it could be the bear. Um, Mike asking me important questions here. <laughs> the thing that's on everyone's mind. So once the woman gets like the doppelganger gets to the original woman, uh, the original woman just gets her shit kicked in, just absolutely <laughs> beat the shit out of. And then the doppelganger gets in her car and then runs her ass over and basically leaves her for dead. But She's definitely not dead because she ends up starting to crawl her ass somewhere. We don't know where somewhere yet. Somewhere indeed. But she is just limping her way to wherever it is that she can get to. So, all the while, the normal Claire drill warnings are popping up still. Like, it's still, mm -hmm. like, commercial. Oh, yeah. It's like every, like, 15, 20 seconds yeah. you see some more, like, warnings or some shit. And they're not good side effects. No. Like, half of them are just, like, really <laughs> bizarre. And, like, I think one of them even says it's, like, taking Claridril will cause you to want to withdraw from Claridril. But yeah. you might just want to take more... Claridril to, to prevent that. To prevent that, yeah. yeah. It, it, yeah. To ensure <laughs> yeah. that you want to take Claridril. Yeah, yeah. Um, but now that we know that the doppelganger is in the car, uh, we see her driving home or driving away from the scene of the accident. Um, and then we get a shot of this new doppelganger woman, uh, like setting or like all these presents are in this house and the kids are running up to the presents and the doppelganger kind of like busts out of the presence and it's just like <laughs> got this wild look on her face and she's fucking like running at the kids in like slow-mo and shit and she's like, like all happy and the kids are just fucking shitting oh their they're terrified they're like terrified. absolutely terrified um and then we get another shot of uh like the doppelganger answering the phone but it's like this weird like choppy sporadic like like movement and yep. it's like she yeah. she keeps yelling for this woman named donna who was the one that was calling in the, in the beginning car. of yeah, the yeah. the video uh where the the fucking noise is just terrible but um and she's like talking to this woman and like keeps yelling out donna like uh that's just weird on its own i mean everything that i'm going to talk about is weird moving it forward. all no, no okay yeah going forward everything that doug says will make zero sense yeah it really almost doesn't. none um but this woman starts to seem like weirdly aggressive to the kids moving forward as well um because it's a she, bear she starts drawing on all the pictures uh of the kids in the house like just like doodling on their faces and like crossing out their eyes and shit and then like at one point there's like the daughter in like a cheerleading costume and instead of like drawing on her she like mimics the pose yeah and like I, I don't know it's just really really weird it's like almost like she's like <laughs> tormenting or like just psychologically fucking with them at the same time um and then there's another shot of the kids going into the like the daughter's closet i have to assume where you see what we can only assume is another doppelganger of the original woman sitting behind her clothes like in a wedding dress which this is all going to start making a little more sense to you guys in a minute here i think because i'm going to start trying to divulge some clues mm -hmm. um but uh, after that, we then get this weird shot of the doppelganger shooting lawn chairs like with finger guns. Oh, yeah. And then at the last Fuck. gun or at the last chair, she shoots it and it actually tips over. Yeah. And it, it I forgot just about has that. finger guns. Um, <laughs> and then Such we, power. And then it just Unlimited goes. Unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my finger guns were real. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, but we, we straight to another clip. Uh, the doppelgangers in the basement is kind of what it seems like this like unfinished basement and she's like running around and like thrashing around and like 
she goes up to this wall and starts talking to it and she actually starts to say um about how she started dating another one or like talking to another one recently um but she's just losing her goddamn mind yeah like actually <laughs> just losing her fucking mind um and then we finally see the original woman and it's like dark out now it's totally totally nighttime now crawling up to the house like just bloody beaten up the steps and we see police car lights which we we can only assume that they're police car lights not like an ambulance or something it's the cherries and berries it is the cherries and berries um and we hear her saying that she doesn't have a gun and this scene is actually horrific yep. like it, it like the, it's not the great. choppiness and the lights flashing and like the blood on her face it's just it's really not great and this is where the actual video ends. Man, yep. I was just trying to watch Inuyasha <laughs> <laughs> on Adult Swim and all this is here. They're like, I'm, I'm too stoned. I, just, I, I don't finished, understand. I just finished Big I, O. What is yeah. this? <laughs> Where, where's the talking robot with the deep voice? <laughs> exactly. I want that back. So now that we've gone through that, uh, there, the what did we just watch, Doug? We just watched unedited footage of a bear. <laughs> there's nothing yeah. more to be said about it. Okay. Um, there's Best a lot nature of documentary I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. And I'm I, like I said, I'm going to try and dumb this down a bit. Um, one of the things that we think might be going on is that the woman is actually all of the doppelgangers we're seeing. There was never ever actually a doppelganger. Um, this woman is using Claridrill to actually amplify uh, antidepressants. And she doesn't have a husband, obviously, which she must have had before. She's dating again. Her kids are driving her up the fucking goddamn wall. And this is her way of trying to alleviate all the stress in her life, which in the adult swim world is not a good thing to do. No. We, no, we no. all know Cinco. They don't make good products. <laughs> yeah, right? we do. Um, <laughs> but of course yeah, you think it's, that. <laughs> it's really bizarre. But if, if you look at some of, the, uh, some of the disclaimers that are actually going through this whole video, we get a website that we can go and visit. Um, and this website is a whole thing on its own. I'm going to go over it just a smidge because I would actually, I, I would prefer people go and look at it. The way that you can go and access this site is through the Wayback Machine. Yep. You, there's no other way to access it. The yeah. actual website is no longer. They're not up. hosting it anymore. It's, it's a thing of the past. But you can go through the Wayback Machine and fully go through the whole archive of this website. So if you go to the Claridrill website, it starts out looking very normal. Mm -hmm. Just a normal home splash page. It's got tabs. It's got, you know, what it is. And it's got what, some, that like, is. what that is. What that is. It's got some FAQs. It's got some things you can click on. What's the website called? Yourmom.com. It's just like Clair <laughs> Claridrill.com or some shit, isn't it? It was like www7.claridrill.com, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that doesn't work. You have to, you have to. You have to actually look it up through the Adult Swim Promotions website link, uh, which we'll put in the uh, description of the episode, and you can go there into the Wayback Machine and actually pull it up. Do you think if the Wayback Machine ever goes down, someone will make a Wayback Machine to for bring the back, Wayback yeah. Machine? Wayback Wayback Machine, which will bring way, back way everything. Back machine. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody would have to already be archiving it, like which would, would be archiving that. everything that's already on the Wayback Machine. Which is yeah. everything. Yeah. On the you just, I think you just found out how to defeat the internet. Yes. <laughs> you just create a black hole of itself. <laughs> I wish I wish the Wayback Machine archived more stuff, to be Same. fair. Um, but that's a different story completely. Um, so when you go to this website, like I said, it's, it's very normal looking. But as soon as you start clicking on things, it just, it just gets worse. <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> not good. So if you try to click on any tabs... Things start to get blurry. Things start to move away. If you click on the pictures and like the header, they disappear. Well, it's because you're experiencing reality differently, Doug. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's because your mind's falling apart and you need clear to put it back together. Exactly. exactly. Um, but yeah, it, like literally, like you can spend like 10 to 20 minutes just on the homepage alone clicking things and 
you won't get anywhere. Mm-hmm. It'll just become blurry and then unblurry. Uh, things will start be like start to be missing. Um, if you sit on the website for too long, the Clara Drill bottle on the the homepage will start to grow in size. <laughs> Until like it's just the size forever. Of the <laughs> yeah, and then as soon as you click away, it goes back to normal. That's kind of amazing. Um, but there's one thing on the homepage. This was page. somebody's job, probably. <laughs> oh, absolutely. They were just like, I'm going to just make this so fucked up. <laughs> make this un- you unusable for anybody. <laughs> but uh, as soon as you click, there, so the, the main uh, like header image uh, above the fold of the website is uh, like a family and a home in the background. And if you click on the home, it starts to get bigger and bigger. And if you keep clicking on it, you finally jump through to a whole new website. Hmm. Do we- <laughs> and the name of the website then changes to Take Lives, mm. which is pretty bizarre on its own. Yep. But it follows suit with the Take Lives in your own hands. Yep. Um, so I want to tell everyone that is going to try and do this. You're going to get different results than I'm going to get, than the people I watch do it. And it, it, it's almost different every time. Um, there's just so much to this interactive portion of the website that you can't really account for. Uh, because A, the controls are a little wonky just to start. Um, and unless you have a lot of patience, you can kind of navigate your way through everything. Um, but there's stuff that you can click on that like I had no idea I could click on until after I was done doing this. Um, but basically it goes through the whole house, um, from this Clara drill, uh, commercial, everything you click on, you can go up and down the stairs in each and every room. Um, it's just everything you react or you interact with is different and leads to different, uh, outcomes. So like when I went through it, I didn't realize one of the presents in one of the rooms was something I could actually put into what is an inventory space in the website. You have an inventory? Yeah, apparently. And when I went through, I didn't realize it, but there's like so many interactive was things. It full of cheese wheels? Jeez. No, uh, you put a present in a <laughs> hole. I'll put a present in your <laughs> hole. That's all I got. Um, but yeah, it's it's way different. So it literally just takes you through this whole house. You can go into each and every person's room. Uh, but there are some motifs that I noticed from this that we're going to talk about in uh, This House Has People in It, which is people uh, order our patties. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, but it's people like shifting through platforms and walls and surfaces um some of the actors and characters might be similar in this to that um you could spend a shit ton of time on this website and probably not find everything that you can do to be fair there's a Um, fuckload this if so there's there's a couple other things i want to mention just because the internet do what it do and if you look at the source for the page uh you actually find a big like uh, like worded text that says, uh, I know you are here, which can then link you to a video of the, the main woman standing all blurry, like, and it's super, super weird. Um, it goes to a lot of stuff, but as you're walking through everything, um, like in this house, in the website, uh, you can interact with like the chairs, like you saw in the video where you shoot them down. You can interact with the images when she was defacing them. It gives you the option to draw on them. There's so much stuff here that I could have spent probably all day trying to find it all. But I I would rather you guys go and just dick around with it yourselves, even though it's kind of a pain to get there at the moment. um, But it's way more fun to do it that way than for me to just tell you exactly the things that are in it. Um, it's but, no, it's a ton of fun. If you have time to just check it out and just literally just sit down and explore everything leads to something and it, none of it makes sense, but it's all kind of cool. Yeah. And, and that's pretty much unedited footage of a bear. And now this is a very short ARG in a sense that, mm. uh, like I said, Alan Resnick is going to be a hot topic for tonight's episode yes. uh, as well as the next episode. Um, but this was one that definitely set the path off for adult swim being like, Hey, 
we're on to something here. People seem to like this. We're getting a lot of traction from this. Maybe maybe it's time we up our game. We know we did it. We, yeah, we can do it once. ARG. Yeah, exactly. Is not how I would describe it. <laughs> no, no, fuck no. no. I don't know. So, this was more like the like. Let's dip our toes into the space and see how it feels. And they liked how it felt, so they created something that is just off the fucking wall, batshit insane. And I'm sure there's a lot of things that I probably missed. There's a, probably a lot of tie-ins to other things that I missed. I, I like I said, I wanted to just dumb this part down. I didn't want to go too in depth in it because what the meat of our topic tonight is going to be this house has people in it. Yes. Um. So wow, we all- he's out. <laughs> Man, we can't get just a clean cut, can we? Never. Okay. Well, <laughs> baked in this, baked in that. <laughs> so we all know that unedited footage of a bear is just weird beyond belief. And uh, you know what really would have made this woman's life better? Much better. Some clarity. Some clarity is exactly what I was thinking. And that brings us to our sponsor for today's video, which Woo! is Magic Mind. Hell yes. Megan Mind. Me- no, not Mega Mind. <laughs> no, Megan Mind. Oh. I don't Megan know Markle? Is. Yeah. Mega Mind! This is how we get off topic. We fucking use similar words to get to a place we don't want to be. So, boys, how has Mega Mind helped you last week? <laughs> Go magic ahead, Mind, <laughs> you stupid bob court. That's why I said Magic Mind. You fucking missed poofer. You missed poofer? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, so yeah, guys, if you haven't tried Magic Mind before, uh, it, it is absolutely incredible. I used to do, you know, energy drinks, coffee, five hour energies, you name it. Uh, but this stuff is actually like all natural, healthy, gives you that boost you're looking for in the morning. It it's it's just a little shot, and like, as Mike would like to say, all you gotta do is back. huck it back. Huck it back, guys. Huck it. Um, huck it back. Like 15 minutes later, you're fucking feeling on top of the world, my guy. You're fucking. You're focused as shit. You can uh, do and fuck anything. <laughs> Both of those things. Fuck anything. Yeah. You can testify. As long as they consent. But um, what yes. be making it so healthy? Well, there's a lot of things. But before I go into that. I do just want to reiterate, um, we've all, so we've all been trying this over the course of the past, like, two weeks or so, and I think we've all noticed just a boost in, like, focus, concentration, um, and by fucking God, we all need that, as all of you know, on recording night, it's very hard for all of us to stay on fucking topic, so I hope this has helped, I hope the past two episodes have been a little bit more coherent, um, but at my job, I do need a lot of focus and con- concentration, um, just to stay there. I mean, the patients probably fucking, they, they appreciate it. The surgeons do too. Um, and that's just because of all the, the fantastic ingredients. Yeah. In this little, this little shot here. Like the ones that I'm going to butcher right now. Oh, I can't wait for it's this. It's full of maca. Makta. Makta green tea. It's got a little honey to add a little bit of sweetness What's to What's that it. makta do there, Mike? A makta has 130 times the antioxidants of regular green tea, and it helps reduce the stress and anxiety. You are screaming. You have to. This is a sponsorship. <laughs> He's that excited about it. It's got a little it. honey for a little bit when of When you have a product that might literally be magic. For you your mind. Scream and Sunday. shout. Yeah. And I'm eating goldfish. <laughs> Um, I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Hey, hey, hey! I'm talking them up. It's okay. We're There's never going to get in there. To fucking add again. It's got some um, some lion's mane mushrooms, which I don't like mushrooms, icky. But you don't taste them. I'll tell you that right no, now. No, you can't. I fucking hate mushrooms too. But that helps with your brain. It's got some turmeric in there as well with some <laughs> vitamins, like vitamin C and vitamin D. It's full of nootropics, which help with some uh, some focus, some concentration. It's What's got that some- word? Echinacea. I thought it said echidna. Echinacea. <laughs> it's full of echidnas. <laughs> Which it helps support your immune system. <laughs> if you played Sonic and Knuckles, you know what this is. <laughs> uh, but all in all, I mean, yeah, great product. Go check them out, guys. If you go to uh, Mega Mind, Me- 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 <laughs> if you go to <laughs> magicmind.com slash nope, Diluti. Nope. 
or magicmind.co magicmind.co slash Diluti. and you use the fucking uh, our promo code which Diluti is what, Mike? Diluti20 Diluti20 yes you will get 20% nope. off a regular purchase off. or 40% off a subscription you know what so you're how right. about you shut up before wow. you interrupt me young man you're right I know what I'm talking about <laughs> because right. I'm using this Wait, discount code myself you use Diluti20 to get 40% off oh, see I was thinking about that this week and I didn't understand it but yeah it's, 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 it's Diluti20 for 40% off or <laughs> Diluti 20 for 20% off a normal order. Yes. Yes, exactly. So stick that Matt up. Looks you're so confused. Right what now? do you get? <laughs> no, okay. All in all, everyone. <laughs> Doug said it's Diluti 20 for 40% off or Diluti 20 for 20% off a, no, a regular order. order. Yeah. What, what's the 40%? I'm assuming the subscription. It's a subscription. It's a subscription. Oh, okay. Yeah. 40% okay. off the subscription. Thank that you. Or 20% off a one-time purchase. Because that way you can get your, your your normal fix forever. Your shroom juice. Yeah. Your, mi you. your, your mind liquid. Thank Whatever you, you want to call mind. it. Thank mind. you, Magic Mind. You guys rock. The magicmind.co slash Diluti. And yeah. then Diluti20. Check it out. It's pretty fantastic. It definitely, it helped. I mean, I wish it had helped me with this episode because this is the episode where I fucking needed it. Um, but if you don't have your Magic Mind and you're just going into this dry, like I fucking did, um, we now have everything that we need to explore the enigma that is... Fucking, this house has people in it. We've gone over unedited footage of a bear. We've talked about Claradrill. We've talked about... I, I don't even know what at this point. Just a bunch of relevant shit that's going to tie in later. How about we go over the actual video Let's that we do were it. talking about? That sounds good. Put it in me. I will try my hardest. Dump um, it on us. So this house has people in it. It is a... It's what? It's like a... Almost a 12 minute video between 11 and 12 minutes. It's not very long, but hmm, so much shit happens. And before I actually go into the video, I would like to outline the, uh, the characters that you're going to see. Um, in most of the instances, you're going to see them referenced as subjects one through like 27. <laughs> um, <laughs> The main characters, uh, they actually have names, and instead of trying to keep that a surprise for when they actually get revealed, I'm just going to fucking rip the band-aid off. We're going to tell you who is who. That way, you guys are not as confused. Um, so here we go. Subject 1. So it's it's mainly Subject 1 through 7, and then Subject 27. So Subject 1 is Anne, who is uh, one of the parents in the video. Subject 2 is Tom, who is the other parent in the video. Subject 3 is Madison, who is one of their kids. Subject 4 is Jackson, who is another one of their kids. Subject 5 is an unnamed grandmother. Subject 6 is Dennis, who is just a fucking repairman <laughs> who's in their basement for a while. You heard that too, right? <laughs> uh, there is an unnamed Subject Stupid 7 <laughs> that we will go over later. Um, subject 8 is uh, Amber, who is a, a baby. A very small baby who do, has no say in their own name. Um, subject nine is someone we will go over later as well because I don't want to give too much fucking away. And then subject 27 is just a random fucking child who shows up at this house and gets affected by whatever the fuck is happening here. So, with that boring shit out of the way... Do you say subject funny? Subject? Subject. <laughs> subject. <laughs> Like you're at a like you're at a horse uh, pawning or something. Hey, well, I was a horse auctioneer before this, but that's probably where that comes from. Probably. Um, so let's talk about. You'll the notice actual... there are a lot of numbers that are in between those that are. Yeah, it's almost like subjects <laughs> ten through twenty six don't fucking exist, or we don't care about. The moral of the story is there have been a lot of subjects. Um, this kind of suggests that this is an experiment. Or some kind of test run by somebody. We're not sure who. There's a lot of what ifs around this whole fucking story. So just just real quick, one of the things that I was thinking about is like we like you see that they're family four thirty seven. Yes, and that's the next thing I'm yeah. going to say. Okay, all right. Thank you. <laughs> I, I won't go into any deeper then. I wanted to go over the characters before I talked about the blue screen of death. All right, all right. 
Um, so this whole thing starts um, with a it's a bunch of glitches and you see a blue screen pop up and this is you're going to see this throughout most of the videos that exist. Um, there, it's basically there for reference. You can see what date it is kind of help you put everything in order because in true ARG fashion, none of this shit's in order at fucking all. Uh, so the first thing you see is this blue screen. You see family number zero zero four three seven. Again, I say. You see family number <laughs> 00437. I wonder if that's important. Not at all. No. Don't um, even think about that ever again. This video takes place on uh, 531 of 2015. Um, and in the log notes, it says subject three prone in the kitchen floor. I want it again in the kitchen in. floor. And so we are referring to who I just told you. Subject three is Madison, who is uh, the child of Anne and Tom, who are subjects one and two. Um, and so after you see well, this... she's actually not both of their children. Oh, no, you're they 100% are their right. guardians, but Am she is Amber's only is, Anne's. Amber is the only child. We'll go into that later. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, it's just yeah. it's it's their child, whether biological or not. They are their right. guardians, etc. Yeah. Um, so the first shot that we see in this video, uh, we see uh, Tom and Anne, and they are holding baby Amber, and they're talking about how expensive Orlando is, and Tom's getting real heated about it, and he talks about he drops on a, a hint that he wants to move to Cape Town, Africa. Instead of going on a vacation to Florida, you know how off, how, how many times I had to re hear listen to that because I was like, "Where's Cake Town? <laughs> <laughs> I, where the fuck is Cake Town?" Mike's like, "I love cake." If you want to bake, a and then, yeah, cake, and then he was Mike. talking about like Africa. I'm like, "There's no Cake Town in Africa." <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> That's all I thought of was that. Um, but yeah, they're Damn talking. Bitch. <laughs> it makes me so happy you've heard that version. That was my college yeah. experience. Was that song? Yeah. Um, so they talk about their va their upcoming vacation to Orlando and how Tom wants to maybe move it to a more permanent residence in Cape Town, South Africa. Which that's a kind of a hell of a fucking jump. It's a piece of cake. Um, and there's you see the clips move around. There's like several cameras in the uh, in the kitchen, which are just it looks like they're just monitoring them. And you do notice someone face down in the like on the floor, just just kind of chilling. You don't really pay attention to it much, and they don't um, seem to be either. No, they don't for a they, little bit <laughs> for a while. They just are ignoring this face down person in their kitchen, and that was the first thing that struck me as weird. Was like. Guys, hey, I understand you're making a cake and shit. Focus up, sweetie. There's a fucking person <laughs> laying face down next to you, and you haven't acknowledged them at all. Not so, even ass up, just, just face I just, down. I just want to say this, <laughs> first and foremost. Yeah. Growing up on Adult Swim and knowing what their shows are like, if you didn't know ahead of time that this was an ARG... You just be like, oh, they're just, they're just. This is normal for that. Yeah, yeah. This, this is this is an Adult Swim show. Like, this fucking fit the mold for sure. What the fuck? Well, that like, makes sense. And then just move on with your life. Um. So that's what we see. This is the first glimpse of this story that we see. Um. There's another cut, and you see a uh, repairman or subject six who is Dennis, um, working in the basement. Uh, he's just fucking whacking away on a pipe or twisting it or something. <laughs> Literally whacking away. Just yeah. fucking <laughs> going to tell Yeah. Like the, the world's worst repair. <laughs> yes. Um, cuts to another shot. So, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I forgot to set this up. The first shot we see is is not the the man and the woman. It's actually, it's, a, it's nine screens of like a security cam. It's almost like we're watching this family through security cameras. And that's kind of the whole thing behind this story. Um... So after we see the repairman in the basement, we cut to the living room with a TV that is playing what looks like a clay sculpting show. Um, I will say right now that uh, you do see several clay sculptures sitting right next to the fireplace. Um, there's a sign that says Happy, Happy Bith Day because the R is missing. Um, just some just some weird stuff. Uh I mean, the clay sculptures look like a fucking four-year-old did them. If they I'm look like from. <laughs> they look like the mom's sculptures from Beetlejuice. You know how they're just yeah. very just yeah, yeah, yeah. weird. I didn't even click before, but yeah. But yeah. 
Um, so after we see this, it cuts to a, just a shot of a doorway that's leading like out of where where we saw Tom and Anne in the kitchen. Um, and the end of this hallway, we see a bookcase, and there's some pictures on it. Now, this was very hard to catch. I think I had to watch this like three to four times to actually make this connection. But on the bookcase, on the very, very, very right hand side, there is a picture of a of a young boy. And we're going to learn that this boy's name is Jackson, but we have seen him somewhere else. We saw him in the unedited footage of a bear video when we sure did. When the uh, I'm, I'm assuming at this point the Guardian, not so much the mother, the Guardian, just the doppelganger Guardian lost her shit and was just like scribbling yep. faces out. We see a close up of this kid, Jackson. Oh, it's, shit. It's, yep. it's the same fucking photo. Yep. And that leads me to believe that this is actually taking place before unedited footage of a bear. I, I don't it, think so. I, it, yeah, it could be I, different. I just, I just made a connection in my head that I, well, I'll bring. It I, I will say time is is weird in this whole thing. Everything is weird in this thing, but time is a very weird one. Um, so after that, we get a, a quick cut uh, to Tom and Anne that are they are arguing about the fact that uh, Madison, who's the girl on the floor, is. Has been on the floor for like two fucking hours. Lazy bitch. Yeah, they're like, she's been lying there for two hours. And how'd you not notice? It's like, yeah, how did you notice? <laughs> it's, just, it's just teenager things. You know. <laughs> so, yeah, she wants to be there, so I guess she's there. Um, they talk about that. They talk about her cell phone usage. Her mom gets out, or sorry, her guardian, Anne, gets out uh, a cell phone and starts taking picture, uh, like trying to shame her into getting the fuck up off the floor. Um, we go back to the living room uh, where we see that Granny is watching, still watching her show about the clay sculpting. Um, and Jackson looks like he's patiently waiting for his birthday party to start. Head back to the kitchen where we find out that Madison has been on the floor for almost two hours. Um, we do see that. So we get kind of a close up of Madison's face. And we see that like there's a bunch of weird like white gray shit just in her hair. Um, she looks like, honestly, she looks like she's unconscious and we're not a hundred percent sure why. And then we get some, uh, some glitches that take place and they're, uh, this is when we jump to the, uh, the camera that's kind of watching the, uh, the, the grandma slash Jackson bedroom. You see a, like a race car bed, like the one that every cool kid wanted when they were nine. God, I'm so jealous. <laughs> um, and then there's grandma's bed next to it. We get some I'm major no glitching there, <laughs> um, which jumps to a, a close-up of baby Amber, who is playing with an upside-down bowl, and it looks like one of her hands is kind of dirty. It almost kind of looks like that gray shit that's in, uh, what's her name's, uh, Madison. Madison's hair. Um, very, very reminiscent. I thought that the baby was actually, like, sculpting clay at first until I watched it again, but it, no, it's, an, it's just a plastic bowl that's empty. Super Mega Mind Baby. Super Mega Mind Baby. Ah, yeah, I didn't um, think of that. Mega that, mind time. That baby's Let's drinking go. its, it's uh, magic mind, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it knows what the fuck it's doing. It's Not got a sponsor. focus. It's got the... No, it is a sponsor. <laughs> is a sponsor. You, this is the one time you don't have to say that, Doug. God. Is a sponsor. Is, fuck. It is. It's um, sponsored. If we didn't mention before, we're, uh, this episode is sponsored by uh, Magic Mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Mind. <laughs> Um, so after this, we cut back to the living room once again, and we see Jackson kind of laying on the couch, holding maybe like a tablet, uh, of some sort, watching something, playing something in the backyard. We can see like a lot of the window and we see a deer that, uh, it's there for a second. It runs off. And if you keep watching, you see this like spiky haired four legged, you can't tell there's four legs, but it's it looks like it's fast. crawling. It's, it is. It's, it's, it's very gotta fast. Go fast. It has to go <laughs> fast. fast too and it runs past the window. It's like a cartoon cat type thing. It does, not, it does like not look real. Two house, two people. Whitish and then like uh, over, like it's blown out. Like you, it's not. Yes. Yeah. It's like, like oversaturated. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it looks very, 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 it's everything about it is just, it's like a very pasty white. Um, you're pasty white. Thank you so much. <laughs> After this, uh, a glitch happens once again. This is so, guys. This is very, very, very quick. Like the cut, the cuts from room to room are so fast, yeah. and each one of these scenes has shit in it. 
I'm going to try and highlight just the things that I think that are important to what we're going to talk about. This is the definition so of much more. blink and you miss it. This literally, yeah. yes. If you blink, yeah, there you are miss things something. that are relevant to piecing this whole shit together that are literally one frame long. Yes. Yeah. One yeah. single frame. Some are two frames just to show like movement. Like it's, this is one of those things that if you can literally go frame by frame, I'd recommend it if you have the patience because you're going to find some shit. Considering that I watched these videos at least three times and missed the, some of this stuff every single every time. time. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, so speaking of blink and you'll fucking miss it, right now is one of those goddamn times. So we get this, this cartoonish, spiky-haired, very pasty white cat thing that runs past the window. After this, we get a bunch of glitches. And in these glitches, for like a frame or two... We get two separate pictures. One is like a like a, a very, very, very glitched out version of the second one of like this emaciated – like you can't exactly tell what it is. All you can tell is that a face is involved and like you can see part of a shoulder, maybe an arm, and it looks like it's like coming up from behind a bunch of like – uh, like I don't like filing cabinets and like some other shit in what looks like a either cluttered bullshit. Yeah, it looks like like a garage or a basement or something, something where you'd store shit, and you just see like it's just a still of this thing that's like emerging from it, and then from there you cut to the backyard where we see uh, Sonic the Hedgehog fucking run by, and by Sonic the Hedgehog I mean the same spindly cat creature that we just saw, except this time it's in color. I require speed. Again, it's like five <laughs> frames long, but you see it it uh, whiz by the corner. Um, the the camera tries to kind of like follow it, but you can't see it. Um, and then it cuts to the backyard, like a full view of the backyard, and you see like some discoloration. So one of the things that you need to look for is if you see like a very very pinkish hue on certain things that doesn't really belong, that's probably a cue to pause it and take a look at what the fuck is actually there. And so in this wide shot of the backyard, you see like these two glitch points and there's literally two frames where you see like one on one side of the, of the yard, you see uh, a man's face and kind of front of his body and one foot stepping out from behind it. The thing that took me a second was the second man who is behind the bigger tree in the center, and you only see part of his foot. You see, like, his t the tip like of his a, shoe. Yeah, like the tip of his, his boot, or whatever the fuck is coming out. Um, not exactly sure who the fuck that is. One of them kind of looks like Tom, but the other one you can't see too much of to actually make a, a correct identification there. Um, so after that, you go to Tom and Anne in the kitchen again, who are dancing and singing and making some frosting. So at this point, like, you should understand that there's a birthday party happening. Um, mm. That's kind of what today is all about. Um, everyone's getting ready for it except for Grandma and Jackson, which leads me to believe that it is Jackson's birthday and he's patiently waiting for everyone to arrive while Grandma kind of watches him. Um, and then we cut back to a shot of the kitchen again, and we see Tom and Anne, and Tom is talking to Madison, trying to get her off the floor, and eventually he loses his patience and tries to physically get her off the floor. Prior to this, too, when they're dancing, Tom's like, he's like dick to ass with Anne. Oh, yeah. He's and straight she, up grinding. Or their teenage daughter's just chilling on the floor. Just on the floor. <laughs> just right next Tom to him. Tom is a beast. He don't give a fuck. Right? <laughs> I'll, I'll Tom is one of the kid. best characters care. in this whole thing. Absolutely. For, sure. for several fucking reasons. Um, so, yeah. So, so, again, everyone's getting ready for this fucking party, and Tom realizes that something is very wrong as he tries to pull Madison up off the floor, which is something he hasn't tried yet. In two hours. Two hours. <laughs> He has not attempted to help his, uh, whether it be biological or not, daughter yeah. up off the fucking floor. So yeah, he Tom's tries. Shit ass parenting is a running thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets so much worse in the next in the coming minutes. Um, so he he attempts to get her off the floor and just normally when you try to move someone, you can see some kind of like some kind of resistance or force against that. In this case, Madison doesn't fucking budge. At all. Like, no matter how much strength that Tom applies, she's not coming off the floor. She might as well be glued to the floor. 
glued, fused, whatever you want to call it. But that's when he realizes something is very, very wrong. So he tries to tell Anne about it. And Anne's like, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. And so she tries to help. And from here on out, the the video is basically screaming. Like just the, the whole time is just is panic. It is just chaos. Um, Tom and Anne are trying to pry Madison off the floor and they just can't. Uh, you get a cut to the back to the repairman in the basement. He stopped working. He's just kind of like looking upwards like <laughs> what the fuck is happening up there? Um, you, uh, you actually, so you go back to the living room and again, this is another place where you might want to pause it. And this is where one of the connections between this and unedited footage of a bear comes in. You see a close up of the mantle where you see Jackson and Tom in a picture, but right next to it, you see very clearly it is a bottle of Claridrill and it's, it's tipped over, but it's sitting on the mantle. So I'm just going to interject go real ahead. quick. Yeah. Um, the producers of this have said that unedited footage of a bear yeah. and this house have people in it are not connected in any way. Now, well, sure. be that a diversion or a straight lie, no we, idea. we don't really know for sure. Uh, but there are Easter eggs in this house has people in it uh, that do very directly connect to unedited footage of a bear. Yes, so, there's several. Like, Again, frame by frame, guys. Fucking roll through it and you'll find something. There's several different connections. Again, apparently it's not connected, but you find these Easter eggs that allude to the fact that these are in the same universe. Sometimes even the fact that it might be the same house. It's 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 all over the place. Um, so after you see this bottle in the uh, on the mantle... Um, you see that people actually start arriving for this birthday party that they have planned today. Um, and Jackson, he walks into the, the kitchen and he goes, hey, like people are starting to arrive as Tom and Anne are trying to figure out what the fuck is happening to Madison because they can't get her off the floor. And there's like snot coming out of Tom's nose and he's just like <laughs> manic and he's like, I'm I'm so sorry, Jackson. I just, today's not a good day for a birthday. Just make sure everyone stays outside. And he's like, okay. And he goes and he like answers the door. He goes, uh, hey, yeah, uh, don't come in. Like, we, we, this is not a good time. Like, just stay, just stay outside. It will be later, but like, just stay outside. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, cut back to the kitchen once more. And Tom, like, Tom fucking ups it once again. The panic level goes up. And you see that uh, Madison starts to actually get, like, sucked into the kitchen floor. Oh, we, I, I just want to bring up one little thing because it's, yeah, like, my yeah. favorite part of the whole video. Um, when, he, there, when he's trying to, like, get her up, he's like, Madison, are you okay? Are you okay? Did you take pills? Did you, and did you give her pills? And she's like, that's why right. I give her pills. She's like, you got, your girls, women you share. Women give each other pills. Women give other, <laughs> the other pills. And she's just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I forgot about that. I did too. It's yeah. The yeah. Funniest fucking shit. <laughs> also, as if like the pills would just make someone an immovable mass. Uh, it depends on the pills. Are you taking uh, <laughs> antimatter pills? Because that might do it. But that'll also kill you for fucking sure. Um, but yeah, so Madison starts getting sucked through the goddamn kitchen floor, and once again, the batshit insanity goes up a notch. Everyone is screaming way more intensely about what the fuck is happening here, um, and the repairman, it cuts back to the repairman again. He's still just, like, looking up at the ceiling from the basement, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and finally, finally, he comes upstairs to try and figure out what the fuck is happening, and he's just like... What the actual fuck is this? Can I just and say, without giving anything away, the repairman is like the got one of the best, the best yeah. things oh, in this, hands down. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm he glad we're on so the same much. page. Um, so yeah, he finally walks upstairs and he's just like stare. He's like covering his mouth, wide eyed, and Tom and Anne are both like looking up at him. And there's like a three second pause, and they both just go like, "Help us! Help!" <laughs> And he's like, oh, right, okay. And so they start, like, prying at her again. And she gets sucked deeper and deeper into the kitchen floor. Um, and so one of the things one of the things I want to I point out here that is going to come up later is as the repairman is standing there, mouth agape, you see on the fridge, 
There is just a single word written right above his head on the black fridge. It looks like in chalk or something. It just says the word bed sheets. I'm not going to give you context at all, but that is important later, so pay the fuck attention. It's for bedtime. Yeah, you take bed sheets to yeah. bedtime. Um, so they're pulling, they're pulling, they're pulling, and the uh, the repairman looks like he gets an idea. So he runs down to the basement, um, and you see like feet go by. You see him pick up a two by four, and you see Anne come down, and they just start pushing her forehead in <laughs> with a two by four from the basement. <laughs> just he's he looks like he's struggling. He's just like Urgh! and it's like he's trying to push down just a massive shit yes. back up into the sea. <laughs> Get the fuck back up there. Yeah. Um, so he's uh, he's pushing up the uh, Madison with the two by four. And behind him, once again, on the drywall, you see the word sad day in, as one word written. Again, pay attention to that. It's fucking important. It's good for bedtime. It's a lonely day. Um, cut back to the front door. You see outside the children and parents, I'm assuming, of the birthday party. Uh, whoever's attending the birthday party are starting to show up. Um, Madison keeps sinking lower and lower. Uh, Tom grabs the baby and this is the, <laughs> Ooh. So Tom hands the baby to grandma who grandma, grandma promptly, sucks. Gra grandma sucks. <laughs> Gra grandma puts the fucking baby down on the floor and just goes back to watching the clay sculpting show. She's been watching baby crawls Horny away. Old bitch. <laughs> and that's exactly what she is. Um, and the, the baby just crawls the fuck away. No supervision. She's like, okay, cool. This doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> just, whoop, gone. Um, you get another cut to uh, Jackson and Grandma's bedroom where you see Jackson stuffing a bunch of stuff from a bag behind his bed. Um, uh, I'm assuming that means something a little bit later. I didn't dig too much into that. But again, this everything that has to do with something in this fucking world mean something so that stuff in the bag yeah is actually uh, a bunch of like party favors from the table and he's he was, oh he, he, he yeah like, he you like saw put it all in the that's bag right. he's just like stuffing it behind the bag like for candies some reason. and like party horns and shit <laughs> okay yeah, yeah yeah and i will say one of the things on the table straight looks like a brain really just saying See, i didn't catch said. that you see, I have to go back and rewatch every piece of media, but I don't have. You could probably watch this shit like ten times. And oh yeah, and still it, get no, like yeah. We probably all yes, exactly. It looks like a fucking brain in a like a Pyrex dish. Oh yeah, it's just goo. Holy shit. Okay, it's weird. I don't. They know. They never explained it either. Spoilers they, they, alert. They, they don't tell you anything. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> just, here's a here's a weird thing. I just know what shit. that's supposed to mean, and I'll touch on it later. Uh, speaking of not telling you anything whatsoever, uh, we so after we see Jackson stuffing this stuff behind his bed, we actually get a cut back to outside, and we see all the kids that were there and showed up. They just start opening the presents that I'm assuming were for Jackson and having fun with them. Bunch <laughs> of fucking dickheads. I mean, I don't blame them. They're like, oh, just wait outside for you know indefinite. Um, but this, so this is probably my favorite part of the video, and it's because this is where Tom goes full Nicolas Cage <laughs> and loses his fucking mind. Absolutely. He goes full on mind broken lunatic cultist on us. Um, and he just, he literally starts screaming at Anne saying like, I love you. I'm here for you. And then just repeating, I serve you. And then it cuts back to the kitchen, and we see the fucking oven start to smoke up, like something was cooking in there, and now it's just burning, and the smoke billows into the living room, and Grandma's there watching the clay show, and she doesn't care. The baby's just gone. We see it crawling down the hallway. Um, we fucking... <laughs> the, the, the repairman, that's right, is now trying to, like, cut Madison out of the floor... Um, <laughs> with like a like a like a power saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's oh, there's it's okay, chaotic to say you, the least. If you pause this <laughs> when you see Grandma in the living room, you can actually see some of the drawings that are on the table, and a few of them say "Boomy the Cat" with a spiky-haired creature that looks like it's drawn by. Let's be honest, it was Jackson. Um, oh yes, it cuts back to the basement, and you see Tom just fucking pacing and yelling and screaming. The last three seconds of this frame, you see just a set of hands just, like, come out of nowhere and just, like, rest on this black, like, rolled up. It's like a mesh or something. Mesh fencing yeah. or some shit like that. 
Um, and in the repairman bolt upstairs to go grab a mattress. You see that underneath Jackson's bed, there not only is something that kind of looks like Jackson, but there's just a bunch of shit just like stuffed underneath. Yeah, and at this point, Jackson has kind of just disappeared. He's just gone. He's just he's fucking gone at this point. Yeah, he's um, over it. He's, he's, he's like, I'm done with this. It was my birthday, but now it's not his unbirthday. Um, it cuts to the outside, and you see the baby crawling away, like out of the backyard and by a tree. <laughs> Um, it's it, the fucking pacing from here on is just fucking insane. Um, so after the baby crawls away, uh, Madison keeps getting sucked more and more through the floor and you see like, a f you see, so you see her face first and then you see some arms kind of descend. They throw the mattress down where she's going to fall and then Madison drops <laughs> and then a giant fucking glitch happens. Everybody starts screaming. I mean, mainly Anne, but everyone's <laughs> screaming. Damn it, Anne. Um, and then the so once Ma uh, Madison hits the mattress, that's when the glitches start. And you see another still, not a still, but like a two second clip of the mattress, and it's empty. And then the credits roll. And you'd think that's where this ends, huh? You'd think. You'd be wrong. You would be wrong. So the very end of this, after all the credits roll... This is a Marvel movie, remember that. <laughs> <laughs> there are scene. post credits. You get uh, the AB Solutions website, uh, which is very important. Uh, you get a bunch of coordinates in the top left-hand corner. Um, you get uh, a part and model numbers with some numbers there. Um, and also you get instructions on how to install hardware by pressing 3 on your number pad. Uh, yes. All of these things oh. have to do with fucking everything. If you look up the coordinates, they are in order. Paris, uh, yeah, Paris, Rome, or sorry, Paris, Italy in Rome, Harar Zimbabwe, Lusaka, Zambia, Cake and Town, Algeria. Africa. Oh. <laughs> if you line all that shit up, it spells the word pizza. If you put the fucking numbers that are in the model number and part numbers into, I think it's either hex or some other cipher, you get uh, the words cheese and pepperoni. And uh, if you, uh, well, the number three we'll go over later. But pressing the number three in the number pad has something to do with, uh, again, with the AB Solutions website. Now, guys, I am so sorry for how much information we just fucking hucked at you right there. And I'm so sorry that... Uh, you're not going to get a whole lot more from from this episode. Ha, losers. You get but, nothing and you like it. <laughs> oh, there will be no part two. Fuck off. You fucking That's figure it. it out. Could you imagine we just didn't do a part two? <laughs> That'd be fucking shitty, but hilarious. <laughs> Join no, us we, on part two in the next episode yeah. is Hometown Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> just nothing. We have to break this up into a two-parter just because of the sheer amount of batshit theories, of information, of stuff to go over. We haven't even really gotten into it yet. We've just set it up. This is just all fucking set up. And it took us a fucking hour and six minutes to do that. That's insane. And that's a testament to how much information actually exists in this topic. I know uh, the Nightmind video that they have out, Who tr he tries to go over the majority of it and doesn't get all of it. He said you could watch every piece of media that's a part of this and you would hit like two hours and 45 minutes or some shit like that. Yeah, just about. A grand total. It's a fuckload. Especially not including fucking unedited footage of a bear. Right. Not including that. This video is only fucking 11 minutes long. Uh -huh. it's, it's weird how um, if you pay people and they're freaks then you get good content. Yep. Thank you, Adult Swim, for being a bunch of freaks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, fuck, guys, I don't I don't really know. Like, is there anything else? Did I miss anything? I'm sure I missed something here and there, but, like, is there anything else that we need to use to set up for our next episode? I would say just keep everything that Jason told you in mind because right. Moot and I – our next yes. on next episode and i am going to be doubling back to a lot of what jason talked about i think i did a pretty good yeah. job at setting up some key points for you guys um but again this you ha if i don't know why i'm saying this on part one but like you have to hear all this shit for, in order for part two to make sense if you listen to part two without part one you're, you're a freak who does that <laughs> what the, what the fuck is wrong with you 
Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's the entirety of this 11 minute video shortened into an hour and eight minutes. So I hope you fucking liked it. Did you just say an 11 minute episode shortened to an hour? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes that's I did. what we do here. Time works both ways, Mike. That's you're right. It's like You've percentages. I did. Well, I would like to say, uh, thank you everyone. And I would also like to say patreon.com slash pod. You can give us something or... Or, or you could give us nothing. It's pretty great how that works. Um, you can go to dilutipod.com or diluti.com and um, you'll see our link tree through there. And that will take you to all of our socials. It will take us to, to take you to our merch site, which we are uh, almost we're done actually, yeah. with the new site. So we're getting there. I would say if you want something that is currently on the merch site, buy it. Now. Yes. Including yeah. the flags. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Because our it'll be gone yeah. very quickly. Our, our yep. next merch site is gonna be up and running. I mean, probably before the end of October. So before the apocalypse. There's a good yeah. chance of that. Yeah. yeah. So get it before while it's world. hot and yeah. uh we'll go from there. And I would also like to say, if you see any bears out there making unedited videos, I would like to tell you to let them do it. We don't condone unedited bears. Here. Let them finish their video because you don't want to see an edited video of a bear. <laughs> no edited bears allowed. I'm going to derail us real quick here. Also, um, just speaking to the fact that uh, if you aren't a part of our Patreon um, yeah. or a part of our Discord right now, it's a great time to join. Mm -hmm. um, next week, we will be doing a everybody can listen yes episode um which isn't really an episode it's actually a bonus episode for our patreons but if you get in there because you're special uh -huh. you can't <laughs> see the air quotes i'm doing right now but because uh because of how we have to do this episode uh next week we might be doing a free episode for everyone. And yeah, by might, I mean we it are. It should be noted that because this is going to come out on Monday, that's actually technically tomorrow. So. So so not tomorrow. <laughs> well. My tomorrow. brain. Wait, no. So tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow. To the people who will be listening to God! this on Spotify or whatever, <laughs> Matt, you it can't will do be that tomorrow. To me. <laughs> if you're not in our Discord, now's the time yeah. to join. I don't yeah. work yeah. in two times. Yeah, if you go to dilutipod.com, you can find the link to our Discord in there. <laughs> Uh, along with, uh, you know, buy me a coffee, but it'll be for booze. Uh, thank you, Zay. And, yeah, thank you, Zay. And uh, a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah. Uh, uh, our Once social again, we're doing you a go to the Discord and you sign up for the page, for the $10 Patreon tier, you can come watch us, watch our faces record this. Also, no, yeah, we're here all yeah. the times we fuck up and everything that we cut out of the episode. And so. get ready for another... Uh, creator interview coming in through the woodwork yes yes, yes. yes i'm not gonna spoil who but Guys. we got a good one <laughs> i still have to contact them again but we've been oh. getting bombarded with creator uh interview requests which is fucking oh my god i'm so horny for that <laughs> so fucking horny for that i'm i'm ready Let's oh yeah it's gonna be really great um, it's coming soon though another thing i want to mention as per usual hometown horrors nope uh <laughs> Don't care about that at all. Um, just kidding. We do care about that, and we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, YouTube, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, fucking watch our YouTube videos, say say nice things, just, you know, anything. We don't Show care. Show me interaction. Put put us on the algorithm. Yeah. Please. Please, please yeah. do those things. We're on YouTube at <laughs> Don't Look Under the Internet. Um, and then send us a Gmail. E it send us an send email. Send us a Gmail. Send everyone. us an email to our Gmail. It's dilutipod at gmail.com with the subject hometown horrors dash your name. And then if you want us to have you on the show to read it off, put that in the email as well. Otherwise, we can just read it off. I also want to clarify something. If you're going to send us one of these, uh, please make it a personal anecdote yeah. that you that something that is like personal to you, not just like a random story that you know of that you want us to read. Um, also if you are going to want to be on the episode and read your own story yes. out loud, we are going to make that a priority over us reading episode mm -hmm. or uh, your emails. Yeah, just dramatizing it. So like, we'd rather hear from you guys. And like, again, directly. You can go to our Google phone number at 630-909-9366. Typically, you can leave us a text and voicemail. For Hometown Horrors, I would recommend not doing that. Send us the email. It makes yes. it easier on our end to keep records. And how we can contact you to get you 
onto the show. Yes. So yep. if you sent us a story that you want us to read or that you want to read off on the show, if you sent it to a, our Google phone number at 630-909-9366, send it again as an email to diludipod at gmail.com with the subject line, hometown horrors dash your name. I know that's pointed at somebody Please. and I'm sorry. That's no, it's my not, fault. No, it's I not, it's already not put them in the else. logs. Okay. So yep. they're cool. good. Yeah. I'm just, no, I'm just putting it out there into the ether for everybody. Okay. Um, the we, same we goes about, for like our DMs on Twitter and Instagram and shit like that. So. I will say we we have more than we thought we were going six to get. Zero, nine, zero, nine, no, 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 no. Uh, we have more <laughs> I had stories. The button ready I and know, everything. He Fuck. fucking slipped it in that little sneaky, sneaky bitch. bitch. Um, we have about six, five, five, six stories so far that have been submitted to us. Um, so if you if we get a massive amount in the next you know week or two. Um, we can't do them all, unfortunately. We'll do so as many as we can. If but... you really want to get in, now is the time. Yep. Uh, otherwise, and if we don't you pick might... yours, it's not because it sucks. It just means that we've found a theme that's flowing throughout the entirety of this uh, 2022's Hometown Horrors episode. But also, it's... it probably sucks. <laughs> so, See, feel I'm bad. trying to... You got feel a good bad. cop, bad cop over here, apparently. Um, I'm always going to be the negative. I'm going to be the... the, the uh, Guys, I'm abusive... so sorry. Abusive crowd yes you can abuse the fuck out of our audience i'm so sorry that i'm gonna do this but i my bladder is going to explode so everyone stay paranoid and take a shot with me ready set go take a shot for me Woo! Oh, oh that's a drake song oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow anyway well, we love you guys okay. bye, bye everybody thanks for joining do i hold it down yep hey boys this is dylan from michigan just across the lake so i'm a security guard Definitely seen some crazy stuff. But I'm actually calling because you missed something on your Dagon episode. You said he didn't appear in any piece of pop culture at all, but that's ridiculous. It's false. You guys remember Ben Ken? Yeah, in uh, Ultimate Alien, one of the season enders is Dagon. Yeah, the Esoterica, a group of people who worship a literal alien who came to Earth thousands of years ago. Well, the big squid alien Ben fights all the time. Bill Gax gets mistaken for him. And they fight the Esoterica. It's crazy. There's an ancient French guy. Asmus apparently built Excalibur. Wild stuff. Anyway, love the show, Jen. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Don't look under the internet. Hello, everyone. Now, I know we talk a whole heck of a lot about the spookiness and the creepiness on the internet and some of the mysteries that come on it, but you want to know something that's spooky, creepy, and mysterious? Um, why my insurance has gone up. I don't like that. Uh, so I hit up my buddy, Miguel Salinas. Um, he is a local Illinois and Wisconsin agent for Allstate, and I've known him since high school. He's a really swell guy. Um, I gave him a call because I was super frustrated, um, and he gave me a quote the exact same day that I called him. Um, and now I got this like super great coverage. It's wonderful for me. Chef's kiss. Um, my buddy, uh, Miguel, you can find him. Again, he's an Illinois, Wisconsin insurance producer for Allstate. You give him a ring at 630-833-8100, and he'll get back to you the same day with a quote, just like he did for me. He works out of my hometown, Oswego. It's wonderful. He's a homeboy. He's got a dedicated house of customer service um, that is going to just help you out with anything that you need. Um, they're going to give you that personal touch. It's lovely. Even if you don't like being on the phone for too often, you can email him. You can text him. He'll hook you up. Just hit him up at 630-833-8100 for all of your Allstate needs in the Illinois, Wisconsin area. He is the best. I love you, Miguel. Thank you for helping out. And thank you for calling him, people. Thank you. Orthon is pleased.